Hi everyone. In the previous video, I explained to you guys the relationship between a normal distribution curve and the standard normal distribution. Hope you guys um, understood the difference between them, uh, the difference and similarities between them. Now, let's take a look at some ex some examples. So here I have um, I've screenshot the exercise 15K, and I'm, I'm going to go over question number one. And if I have time, I'll go over question number two as well. Okay, so let's take a look. So for A, uh, they want us to find value of A, where my random variable Z is less than A. So when we see random random variable Z, uh, we we are in fact talking about standard normal distribution. Okay, this is standard normal distribution. All right. Now with the standard normal distribution. <coughs> our mean our mean is equal to zero and my, stand, and my standard deviation is equal to one this is fixed so what I can do here is in fact um, I can do this for all of my graphs my mean is going to be zero all right this is going to be zero and the standard deviation for each one of them is 1. All right. So they want us to find the value of A so that the probability is 0 0.922. So if you think about it, my A can be, um, if, I, if my A is somewhere here, then it is A above the mean, A standard deviation above the mean. If my A is somewhere here, then it is a standard deviation below the mean. The negative represents below the mean. Okay, so let's take a look at which one. Where should my a be? Should my a be on the right of the mean or on the left of the mean? <coughs> so let's take a look at this one first. So I'm going to. So let's say today I put my a over here. So this is my negative a. All right. So z is less than a. Since we're talking about standard normal distribution, uh, this is no longer x, this is z. So there is a difference when you're drawing this. In the previous video, um, I did not mention the z. This should be a z. Okay. So make sure you, uh, with your x axis, be careful with what you have there. All right. So now if I'm talking about z is less than a, then I'm talking about this area. Okay, and this area is, since the area gives us the probability, this area is 0.922. Now, let me ask you, does this make sense to you? If you think about it, everything on the left hand side, so let's say to the shade of this part, everything on the left of mean. The mean stays, the mean lies right in the middle. So everything on the left, that is 50%. Right? So by saying that my A is over there, and this area is going to be 0.922, that doesn't make sense at all. Okay? That doesn't make sense. So let's try to have, oops, let's try to have the, the A on the other side. <coughs> Let's say somewhere here. Okay. Now, if the A is there, the probability for um, random variable Z to be less than A, then we're talking about this part. Right? All of that. This whole shaded part. <laughs> and they are saying that this should be 0 0.922. Now, this makes no sense, right? Because we are covering more than half. And this part, so this, uh, let's say today, if I only highlight this part, that is 50. Uh, this part is 50. And the remaining uh, 422, 0 0.422 comes from here. Uh, this is the remaining 422. Okay? So the, uh, the, the location of my A right now, that makes sense. <coughs> All right? And now, now it's easy. Now all, all we have to do now is to bring out my calculator, and then go to uh, second vars that brings me to distribution. 
and then go to inverse norm and then my area right now is 0.922 so this is 0.922 and my mean and standard deviation um, has to be 0 and 1 right? has to be 0 and 1 and then you'll get the value right, right there this is 1.419 so my A over here is about 1.419 what that means is this A is 1.419 standard deviation above the mean okay so it is not it is pretty pretty high right it is almost one and a half standard deviation above okay alright so that's um, that's part A let's look at part B for part B they want us to find the value of A where the random variable is greater than that A the probability for that is 0.342 so again we need to think about where is my A gonna be is it gonna be here or is it gonna be there so let's see I'm gonna analyze uh, say my A is here I said this is my A I'm gonna analyze this if my A is somewhere here and my random variable Z is greater than A so that's gonna be this part right, this whole part this whole chunk okay let me highlight that so this will be this part now does that look like 0.42 uh, that that is a lot more than half right that's more than half so that can't be 0 0.42 0 0.342 sorry so which means my A is not on the left hand side of the mean my A is actually above the mean so let's see if this makes sense now so everything above A gives me an area of 0.342 now that makes more sense right now this makes more sense but then in other words in other words what I have here uh, below the A this part this whole area this part is gives me an area of how much that the whole thing has to be one right so area the blue area here that gives me 0 0.658 Make sense? So 1 minus this gives me the area below A and now we can just use our calculator. Okay, so uh, again I'm gonna go to my inverse norm. Oh, sorry, inverse norm. And then my area is 0.658. Mean and standard deviation stays the same. So my A has a value of 0 0.407. This is 0. 407 so it is 0 0.4 standard deviation above the mean right, so maybe I should have uh, I should have drawn this red line a bit closer to the mean but anyways this, this is just a sketch and a, the sketch tells us to visualize the area so I strongly recommend you guys to make a sketch when you are trying to solve questions involving normal distributions okay but it, we got it so my a is gonna be 0 0.407 now let's look at the last one the last one part C it says that uh, what we need to find the value of a when the probability um, of the random variable being bigger than a is 0 0.005 so again we're kind of looking at uh, where my a is is my a gonna be here um, or my a is gonna be on this side the negative just represents below below the mean so if you if you look at the area here does that look like 0 0.005 I hope not right? I hope your answer is eight. I hope your answer is no so this is obviously more than 0 0.005 this is a lot right so my a should be in fact here this is my a and the area that we are shading is everything above the point A and this area is 0 0.005 alright now
another way of saying that would be um, area below A, so all of this part, the red area, all of this is going to be um, so 1 minus 0 0.009 that gives us 0 0.995 right and then at this point we can just pull out our calculator and do inverse norm my area is 0.995 mean and standard deviation stays the same so my A is 2.576 2.576 so my A is equal to 2.576 approximately alright so my, uh, my value of A is more than more than 2 standard deviation above it is about 2.6 standard deviation above the mean which is why you have a very low probability to have anything on that side okay all right hope you guys get the idea here and um, I'll see you guys in the next video where I will go over question number two